Okay, so I got a couple requests to do the PID tuning through Octoprint. So this afternoon I got my laptop set up with uh, Octoprint server and it's connected to the uh, Ender 3 Orange. So let's go to it in the web browser. It's connected, temperatures are low. Let's go to control, let's home it. You should be able to see the uh, extruder move and then we'll home Z okay that's done let's go back home M10, let's go ahead and raise Z up a little bit away from the bed. Make that smaller so you can see the screen. Alright, so we'll go over to terminal. We want to suppress these temperature messages. And just to verify we're connected, let's do an M503. Yep. Those are all the EEPROM settings on the printer. So now to tune the PID, we're going to go M303, E0. You can leave that off. We've only got one. Marlin would know it. S205, that's the temperature I use for PLA all the time, so I want to tune it at that temperature. And let's do eight iterations. Less PID won't be it's tuned as well. More, you're just wasting time. And we hit it. So I'm going to pause the video here because it's going to take another three or five minutes and then we'll be right back. Actually, while it's going, we can take a look at the temperature chart. I haven't used Dr. Print in a long time. Now that I've got it hooked up, I may actually do a video. You can install a plugin for firmware updates. So I can do all my compiling at my desktop and then send the different firmware hex files through Octoprint. So I may get that set back up. We'll see. All right, temperature's going to go about 205, and then it's going to iterate up and down. So we'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, we're back and it completed. So now we need to write these values into the EEPROM. So we'll go M301 back in the terminal of uh, Octoprint P20.65 I 1.59 D 67.23. Double check that. 265159 67.23. Okay. Then we want to store those into EEPROM. So we'll do an M500. And then validate it. Do an M503 to read the EEPROM. 265 165 159 159 and 6723 6723 okay we're done and that's how you do it so you don't need a printer face if you've got octoprint installed and your printer's hooked up by the USB ports so look for a new video in the future about using the firmware updater plugin to Octoprint so you can update your firmware remotely. Alright, thanks, bye.